So this is going to be a quick unboxing of the OnePlus 5T and a little bit of a comparison against the Samsung uh, S8. <clears throat> Nothing professional. I'm not going to go into too many of the specs because I don't remember them and all this stuff is so fast now it really doesn't matter anyway. Uh, so I got this yesterday. I just cut the plastic off and if it's if it's, I had a OnePlus 3T uh, about a year, I don't know, about a year ago, uh, and I sent it back. I did not like that phone at all because they had the fingerprint sensor down here. The auto brightness didn't work. It was just it was a real pain in the neck. Um, I'm hoping the 5T is better. And I'm telling you, just pulling the case off, the cover off that, I'm seeing already, that is a huge phone. Good heavens. The Samsung S8 is 5.8 inches. This thing is like 6.01. And I don't know if you remember when the original Samsung Note came out, everybody thought that was ridiculous. I think it was a shade over 5 inches. It was like 5.2 or 5.3 inch phone. Now we have the, you know, the S8 at 5.8 inches, which is like normal. This thing right here is ginormous. I already don't know if I'm going to dig on the size of it my god that thing is big anyway uh, so there's the phone and they have intelligently moved the fingerprint sensor to the back in the middle which is awesome as everybody knows anything about phones the s8 they have it right here next to the camera for some odd reason i don't know why they didn't put it down here but they didn't and then that's the biometric or not the biometric but the heart rate sensor over here um, and this fingerprint sensor, it, it's all right. I mean, it's none of them have been as good as the one that was on the uh, Nexus 5X that I had. That thing was blazing fast, and it never errored out. Uh, so anyway, there's the phone. And just like the 3T, it's freaking gorgeous. This one has the dual cameras on the back. So hopefully it has a good camera on it, which keeps drawing me back to the doggone Samsungs. The cameras are just about unrivaled. I mean, they just are. Uh, and this is like the 3T, and it is. It doesn't come with headphones, which really torques me off. But it's also not a $750, $800,000 phone. So it is what it is. Uh, so we got the charging cable in here. Um, USB-C, of course. Everything is now. Hooray. Actually, I think it is. Double check. Yep. USB-C as it should be and then we've got the uh, what OnePlus calls their dash charger and I believe it charges this thing up I don't know 75% in 15 minutes or something so here they are that is a huge phone it's a little bit taller actually a lot a bit taller and it's a lot wider um, so it doesn't have that weird aspect ratio this one does the again I'm not a specs guy the 18 to 3 or 16 to 3 or whatever uh, this is the more normal aspect ratio so we got the power button over here on this side it looks like the sim drawer there I do believe this is dual sim but I don't think it's expandable storage this time the 3T was. Uh, and then on this side we've got our volume rocker over here and then we have the uh, the mute switch up here. So let's see if it's got any juice in it. Okay, she's firing up. And uh, what I do like about OnePlus is that it comes from the factory with a screen protector on it. Why all phone companies are not doing that, I don't know. But I think that's great. Bada boom, let's go. Um, from here, it's probably going to be your standard Android experience. Um, I'm going to, I'll set it up and I'll use it for a few days. I also have ordered the Honor 8X. So I'm going to post another video up here in a little bit. I'll have the, the Honor 8X out here. I'll have the 5T and I'll have the S8. And that way you can have a look at them and uh, see what you think. You'll be seeing it along with me as I'm going through it. 
and I'm going to keep one of the three. I don't know which one. I want to keep... There's my wife. I want to keep the 5T, but we'll see. Deuces. <laughs>